A grasshopper leaps into the air from the edge of a vertical cliff, and the values of the parameter are d is 7.92 centimeter, angle is 53 degrees, and r, as in the horizontal distance which it has covered, is 1.05 meters. So, part A says that what is the initial speed of the grasshopper? We are going to analyze the vertical motion for part A. For vertical motion, we know that the vertical speed component is going to be v naught sine of theta and this is the initial speed and finally at the topmost point it definitely stops because the uh, uh, i mean the vertical velocity is zero it doesn't stop let me just remove stop from here because there is a horizontal velocity which will always be there but its vertical velocity becomes zero you know v vertical becomes zero acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second downwards and we know that this distance is d and d is nothing but 7.92 centimeter so we can use the uh, we have to use uh, the, we can use the third equation of motion that v final square is v initial square plus 2as v final is zero v initial is v naught sine theta whole square and the axis uh, and if we take the upside direction as positive then uh, be careful over here the acceleration is to be taken as minus 9.8 because it is down and displacement is 7.92 but that is in centimeter so that should be divided with 100 to convert in meters so this becomes v naught uh, uh, sorry zero is equal to v naught square and sine square theta where theta is 53 degrees uh, minus let me just grab my calculator over here it's 2 times 9.8 times 7.92 over 100 which is coming as 1.55232 adding 1.55232 both sides this is how it's going to look like and dividing both sides by sine square 53 degrees sine square 53 degrees uh, this is the value of v naught square so the value of v naught uh, by taking square root uh, both the sides comes out as let me just grab my calculator <coughs> this is coming as 1.56 meter per second up to two decimal places so that is the answer to part a and then it's asking the height of the cliff, cliff as in this uh, uh, this height okay so if it is asking this height, then uh, uh, let's see what can we use. Uh, let's find, in fact, the time of flight because uh, finding the time of flight would be easy because the, we now know the horizontal component of the velocity as well. That's v naught cosine of theta. And since there is no acceleration towards the horizontal size, uh, horizontal side, so uh, the time is nothing but the distance, which is r over the speed, which is v naught horizontal speed, which is v naught cos theta. So r is 1.05, v naught we found as 1.56 and theta is already 53 degrees. Uh, so from here, the time of flight comes out as, let me just grab my calculator, over cos of 53 degrees. So this value comes out as 1.12 uh, seconds up to two decimal places. So this is the time and we need to find the vertical height uh, h so now we use the vertical motion again so in the vertical motion we know that the initial speed was upside which was v naught sine of theta its displacement is h units down uh, which we have to find its acceleration is 9.8 meter per second squared down and the time of flight is 1.12 seconds so i think we can use the second equation of motion that h is equal to uh, let's take downward direction as positive so h is equal to minus v naught sine theta times t uh, plus half a t square so let's substitute all the values minus uh, v naught is i think 1.56 we just found sine of 53 degrees times time which is 1.12 plus half acceleration is 9.8 and time is again 1.12 and this is squared so let me just grab my calculator that's 9.8 times 1.12 square 
over 2 minus 1.12 times 1.56 times sine of 53 degrees. So this value is coming as 4.75 meters. That is the value of height or the cliff, uh, 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 you know, the length of the cliff or the height of the cliff. Mm -hmm. Thank you.